Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to see about like in Editable Grid how you can add a validation. As you can see here, I have added a validation that if I select a duplicate name, it should give a validation like some duplicate name is present there. But as soon as if I select any other values, then the validation will get removed. Sometimes we in our requirement, we do want that in our drop downs or in a editable gate, multiple values are getting selected. So we should avoid the users from selecting duplicate values as well. So in with the help of this validation, we can work on this part here. So let's get started like how to add this validation. Hey guys, so now let's try to start on the validation part. So in for our validation, we have taken uh, the name of the customer and the phone number of the customer. And this is nothing but VOF customer we are currently working on. What we want as per our huge case is that uh, we will get try to get all these customer names onto our app in. Once we have got, we will try to select them with the help of drop downs. But two drop down is not going to have the same names at all. So this is our the validation that we are going to add it. And in order to make the editable grid, I have taken here. See, first of all, this is the query that we have designed here, like query record type directly I have written here. And then in the editable grid, I have a name and a phone field here. These are the two header cells, as you can see here. And in the loop grid row layout, I have taken here drop down field uh, for the name and for the phone as well. And make sure that your RI is of array type. And now let's try to add a value. Uh, let's click on add new. Once you click on the add new part, then you will be a, you will be able to select our option here, Acme Corporation. Let's say I have selected Acme Corporation here. Again, when you click on add new and again, you can select Acme only. But here a validation should be there like a duplicate name should not be selected at all. So what we can do in this particular case is that in order to add the validations, we will go to the validations here and now in the validations what we have to do first see the approach is simple here first of all try to find out like how many total names have been selected here how how we are going to get total name selected which is already present in my array so if you see here in ri bank all these particular names are already present here so what if i create a local variable and in our local i will give here local bank all names all names I am going to get here. So how I will get all names? Ri bank VF customer dot name. This is how I will get all the names here. Now I also need to get like local bank selected name. Which name is currently selected? So FB bank item of name is going to give me the all the names which are selected here. So VOF customer dot names that's it so this is uh, uh, the total name part and this is a selected part here now basically what i want here is that if see here for example in ri bank name it may exist two times i will give a validation so basically like the selected name should not exist more than two times but how i'm going to get it so what i will do here is i will try to find the count of this one where contains where contains what local bank selected name and the array in which it will contain is what the local bank all names it should contain so now this where contains will give me the total count of this one here okay and see here one and two it is giving there it means the selected name is present in one and two as well if i go and add a new row and click much easier so see here one two uh, one and two ecme is giving and this one is at the third index or oh, every index is there so what i just want here is that if the length right so this is the word and if the length of this where contains cut from here and paste it if it is greater than one then just give a message like a duplicate name otherwise null that's it so this is the what we want to show here see this is the duplicate part if i select a different value from here then i won't get that duplicate message but again if i go and in any other drop down i will select here green hold again it will try to give that these are the two duplicate names are present there so this is how a simple validation can work in the editable grid Okay, so I hope it was clear uh, how to add a validation in the editable grid. That was all for now. Thank you.